Joined by Headman's basketball coach Jeff Law and Coach. First of all, how's your summer been going, and how have the players been coming along this off season? Well, the summer's been good. You know, it's the first transition summer year for me being here and everything. And you know, uh, the returners have to take a little bit of responsibility and initiative on working hard over the summer, um, improving their bodies, improving their game. And and I like the nucleus that we have coming back. Um, so, you know, that mixed in with the new guys that we have coming in, I, I think is going to be a very interesting and, uh, and a more successful year than last year, I do believe. And how about the, the new recruits, kind of where they've been coming from, and how do you see them kind of fitting into your plan early on? Well, you know, we, have a, we still have needs. You know, we, we didn't address every need that we have, but uh, I think with, with how we addressed it, um, you know, we got a little bit of size um, just for the physical physicality of the, of the conference. Um, got it brought in a, a high school shooter that, uh, you know, has a, a lot of potential. In front of them, uh, we got a, a six-eight kid, junior college kid that's going to need to do a lot for us in the middle. We got a six-five freshman kid coming in. I think it's going to look a little. We're going to look a lot different because we had the two kids that were here and sitting out last year and didn't get to play. So those are like five new guys coming in. We have about four or five guys coming back in the fold. Um, those are the guys that have been recruited, have you know gotten the most attention over the summer, and I'm sure there's going to be somebody hopefully surprising us. You know when school starts, wanting to come in, walk on, be a part of the team, and you know we'll take it from there. How about your schedule for the coming year? You know you got some good exhibition contests there. It'll take you across yeah, the state. You know, we then, have some, yeah, we have, it's a very yeah. uh, intriguing uh, exhibition schedule. We, we're at UNM, we're at Grand Canyon, we're at New Mexico State. Um, if we can come out of there without any injuries, that'll be good. Uh, UNM, you know, getting a chance to play in the pit. The big thing about that is about uh, three weeks later, we're playing Eastern in the pit. So at least we'll have a chance to get in there in a game-like kind of condition. They'll be totally different when we play Eastern, but, uh, you know, there won't be 17,000 people in there. But, um, you know, that would be good for us. Um, and then we actually start in a, a like a conference classic with Fort Lewis, and we play uh, St. Mary's from Texas and Texas Permian Basin on the road and a neutral site. Um, then we have Eastern, and then we have Angelo State, who's returning a home game before we get into conference. And conference is going to be very, very difficult. So, again, unlike last year, we need to stay healthy. You know, we had a lot of guys getting hurt last year, and we're not the deepest team in the world, but I, I liked what we're going to do. We're going to try to do a couple different things. We're not just going to be a vanilla you know, half court kind of team. We're not going to be a full court pressing team, but we're going to try to do some things and make people uncomfortable and hopefully, uh, you know, reap some benefits. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. I appreciate it. Hope to see you there this year.